Hey guys, I am switching over to the other network to, uh, and it's the timeless uh, titanium. And you can understand how that would be a little nerve wracking, but I, I, uh, I'm putting my Zenith Horse Extra Soft Brush in order. And uh, you can see why I would be distracted a little bit, worried about losing such a good brook, such a valuable razor. And uh, I'm just setting out my gear here. Um, but then I, I found it, um, but not after quite a bit of looking because I knew what it was in. Hey, three people already. Very cool. Welcome. Um, I'm hurriedly getting ready because I've got a little over an hour to record this video and get to my computer, write up my post and submit it before the deadline. So this is going to be a short one. Okay. This is number, uh, I think 386, 386 use of the Nasset blade. And here is the blade in question with the little etching. It all, it's almost like a 3D image, right? Peter, welcome. Uh, okay, roger that. Very good to have you, sir. So the uh, Zenith Extra Soft Horse is what we're going to be using as the brush. It is soaking. Um, I'm liking it so far. It's got a little bit of a tiny bit of prickle to it, but it's new. This is the timeless. This is the uh, 68. Um, I haven't tried my 95 head for this uh, titanium timeless. timeless. Um, I thought I'd try the 68 first. Um, the 95 might be better at all the other passes, but the 68 might be better at that against the grain pass right here. Uh, Today is use in the lather games 2021. We are going to use a soap that will get you lucky. So it's something that your significant other enjoys. And I try to find other gear that my significant other enjoys as well. Like for instance, what's sexier than a man on a horse? Horse knot. Remember that commercial, right? And then um, my uh, the fine platinum is Creed Aventus, as we all know, and therefore we have other Creed Aventus. We've got Aventus in three ways. We have Executive Man as the Splash from uh, Sterling, and then Emperor as the Cologne from Razor Rock. So we're going to have Aventus all sorts of ways. All right. Uh, get my face wet. Now my horse brush, um, I've just been used a few times. I've already found one hair that's starting to split. So that's encouraging. Hey, Mike, welcome. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Mike and Peter are both about to shave. And I'm going to be very fast. Now, where did that blade go? I already put it in the razor. Okay, very good. Let's load up the soap. Take a lot of, uh, it's a very light brush, the horse hair. Seems a lot lighter than its, its brethren. Um, 20 second load, let's do that, 420. So we'll go to 440. So it does look like the horse hair fibers will split. I mean, that's what people have told me, so it's good to confirm that. And these fine pucks are so concentrated that it doesn't, take very much loading and it definitely doesn't take any soaking. I used to soak these pucks. Um, this doesn't look like a lot, but let's just see what happens. If it's not a lot, you know what I'm going to do? Nothing. Because I'm in a hurry. Maybe I'll just do two passes. Who knows? All right. So we'll, we'll, let's go ahead and just kind of do it quick. So we'll just pour in some water right away. Start working it. Zachary, hey man, welcome. Hey, listen, I was just looking at your uh, question. I'm sorry, question, a statement you, you posted on the channel um, uh, about the uh, 
the photographer who kind of has the same timber as me and um, on YouTube. And I uh, just want to let you know, I, I think you might have been the one to tell me about him like a month or two ago. And I actually did create a new tab in my uh, web browser uh, to look at some of his stuff. But unfortunately, I've just had I've gotten distracted. So uh, thank you for the reminder. And I will I'll check him out for sure. But just to let you know, I did get that. But what happens? I don't want to respond to you like, hey, thanks. I'll check that out because then it goes away. It leaves my kind of uh, front and center in my YouTube uh, admin interface. And so then I'll forget about it. So I leave it unanswered and that way uh, it'll stay uh, in front and, and uh, eventually I'll, I'll remember and get around to it. Well, we didn't see very much soap on the brush, did we? But we're going to have plenty. And that is the way fine accoutrements works. It's a concentrated one. Um, I don't think I've published that Dentour video I did. Um, you know, I did that partial one on day three or something, um, but I just did the other day my shelf and storage stuff um, here at this location. And then, you know what? I found a couple other boxes of soaps. Oh, man. Yeah, this is looking terrific. What was I? Why was I even doubting that I'd have enough lather? Don't I know better by now? But we are definitely going to shave with a, uh, a lather that is whatever it is. I'm not going to be too picky today because it has it's usually taken me a good bit of time to, uh, to create the, the write-ups properly and um, for the lather games. Because, you know, that's, that's what I want to do well. Oh, the surprise challenge for today is to uh, create some memes, some shaving-related memes or subreddit-related memes where guys where you're talking about guys who are in the sub or just whatever. This uh, black hair brush sure does look different with white uh, foam in it. You know, it definitely looks a little more dirty than the uh, more clear brushes that were uh, bristles that we're used to seeing or white bristles, you know. It, uh, oh man, this lather looks great. All right, let's go. And so I did actually get online to a meme generator and I created some. And so fortunately, I've already got that done. This horse brush, I'm really kind of enjoying. It's got a, a, a relaxed splay. The, uh, maybe the 60% the of the bristles that is toward the tip. It does have a little bit of a backbone toward the toward the root, but actually I'm not really feeling that right now. It's just a really nice, comfy splay. So, um, wow, this is really nice. And I'm not feeling very, really any prickle at all right now. Let's go ahead and add a little water to the, uh, I'm gonna add from the faucet so I can just do drips, you know. fine tune what's on my face here. It could use some more, but like I said, I'm not going to be picky today. Hey, a heritage collection brush. I was actually looking, um, Mike, for uh, at one of those like on Facebook the other day. It is. It is an Andy Griffith uh, t-shirt um, a few months ago. My sister and her husband finally got to visit Mount Airy and uh, they got to, they took a, ca a police car tour, um, you know, one of those souvenir type tours. And the, the guy was like the, the cousin or something of, of Andy um, or somebody important. So he was really able to give them some good information um, I've been there twice during their Autumn Leaves Festival. I like it there. Mount Airy, North Carolina. Major mincemeat. I was checking out your, uh, I was checking out some of your posts recently.
we're going fast today because I've got just about an hour to submit my post and to do the shave. All right, so timeless titanium with a 68 gap solid bar base plate. Uh, use number 386 for the NASA. Oh, that's nice. I definitely like the weight of this. But to be honest, I wonder if maybe my perfect weight might be somewhere between this titanium razor and the kind of heavy stainless version. But we'll see. We'll play around with this. Uh, not really too much tugging right now in the first pass with this one. This is a, a fairly mild base plate. And so um, even with more... Uh, with newer blades. So I might have to switch quickly to the cross grain um, so we can make sure that we get a nice cut. So we'll see during the rinse here, we'll see uh, uh, see what kind of uh, stubble feel we get. Oh, a good bit of stubble there, but that's all right. Seth, welcome, welcome. Today's theme is something your significant other would enjoy. Or uh, the way it was phrased, we'll get you laid. So that's today. And so uh, my wife is fond of uh, executive man. And so this is a, this is fine platinum, fine accoutrements platinum. And then we're doing Executive Man from Sterling. I'm sorry, uh, Aventus is obviously, is this one, the scent that she likes. And so we're doing uh, Fine Accoutrements Platinum for the lather. We are doing Executive Man for the splash. And Emperor from Razor Rock for the cologne today. That's shaving soap on my favorite brand name that I have used before. Hey, Marv. The uh, best shaving soap, well, it depends. Um, if you want to talk best value, it's really hard to beat Sterling. Um, and even if you're not talking about the best value, Sterling is a wonderful soap base, especially their sheep tallow, the mutton tallow they have. Um, I, I kind of like some of the older bases, uh, like Barrister and Man, Glissant, that sort of thing. Right now, a lot of people are loving Barrister and Man. Their Excelsior base is really good. Um, I like the Fine Accoutrements Classic Puck, which is what I'm using right now. Excellent slickness, creamy feel, holds water really well. Um, but some of the newer bases like Milk Steak from Declaration Grooming and Excelsior from Barrister and Man are really focusing on uh, skin hydration and moisturization and as somebody with oily skin that doesn't really resonate with me and let's put on that third pass I really like soft heart I like I like soft heart um, Um, because I've got so much soap, I don't really mind that you use it up a little quicker. I really admire Will for not putting that into, into production is the main thing, you know, because he didn't want to give people something that was used up so quickly. Um, I like it. I, I, pro I might like it better than Excelsior. Declaration Grooming, of course, has milk steak out right now, but um, before that they had Icarus, and I like that better than the milk steak, perhaps, but I like the bison, which is before Icarus. I like that actually better. So it's really funny in the case of Declaration Grooming and Barrister and Man, I actually prefer the base that's like two generations ago. 
you just can't beat that, that slickness and stuff. And right now, you know, this uh, fine accoutrements uh, classic puck here, it's a triple milled puck. I'm just gliding like crazy. It's a very fast soak if you want that. It can also back, you can also back up and get it creamy. I'm just gonna skip the, uh, the rinse for this one. I think, you know, Seth, you might have something there, but I think I could tell the difference between milk steak and, and soft heart. I think I probably like soft heart a little better than milk steak. But milk steak's really good. Um, milk steak's the one that I had, um, I've, I've had a change of mind on. Um, I didn't like it quite as much when it first came out, but then I worked with it a little bit and I started liking it more, you know. But this lather is just terrific. Fine Accoutrements has that new crope base out, and it's decent, um, uh, but it's expensive. And so I think in general, you're better off just, uh, if you like a scent, go and find it in some other soap base. For almost half the price, you can get sterling. And it performs, you know, probably almost just as good. And so I would only get the new fine crope base if you uh, if they had a scent that you couldn't get anywhere else I mean because it would last you a long time ah breaking in a boar brush very cool oh yeah used on head shaves there you go there you go good idea This 68 is doing really well. Comfort wise, it's very nice. Let's just grab some kind of hand lather for this little area right here. This is a pretty comfortable against the grain pass. So let's rinse. So the daily challenge today for you latecomers is to create memes. And I created about six of them. Uh, I can't share them with you now, but I will put them on my Reddit post if you want to jump over to the Lather Games thread day for uh, the ninth. I think some of them are, uh, some of them are kind of funny. Some of them make fun of noobs, uh, some of the, the standard noob things that we see every day, you know, but in a lighthearted way, I hope. Well, as I suspected, the uh, timeless was pretty comfy in that against the grain pass. Here's the good news. Um, uh, Marv, the best shaving soap. Um, the thing is, there are so many out there right now that are really, really good. I mean, I could probably name, uh, I made a list uh, a month or two ago for somebody who was curious what somebody might consider a better shaving soap than uh, and it may have been Taylor of Old Bond Street. It may have been Perrazzo. I'm not sure. But I was easily able to nail down like 70 that I personally had tried that were better. And, and, and all of those are enjoyable and, and good. And, uh, and so there, it's really, uh, and so many of them are so close that there's no reason to look for the best because there's so many that are in that amazing you know, really good category, really good or better. <laughs> yes, Major Mince Meat. Yes, sir. That's right. And so um, you've got uh, Sterling and Declaration Grooming. Uh, Noble Otter is terrific. Uh, Holy Cows, you'll use a little bit more product, but it's it's good. It's good. Um, Zingari Man, great performer, but usually the scents are a little bit weaker. Um, Henri and Victoria has a tallow base. 
uh, that's triple milled, that is a wonderful performer. Um, they're a Canadian company. Um, the uh, uh, Summer Break Soapworks, Mammoth, their Tusk base is amazing. Um, you, you know, and these, uh, it's just, it's just terrific. What you, um, what I would advise you to do is the, uh, go to Reddit and go to our wet shaving, the subreddit called wet shaving and look for a shave of the day thread. Every day we have a specific thread that gets auto generated and everybody posts their shave in it. Now, right now, part of those people are posting in another thread for the lather games during the month of June. But if you look at any other month, then you'll be able to see a singular shave of the day thread, SOTD, and go down and look through all the different soaps that are being used. And so many of those are just really high quality. Noble Otter, terrific. Ah, okay, okay. See, Major Men's Meat was able to find a soap that did not have shea butter because his wife was allergic to that. And so she can use that one. Um, so yeah, there are just so many. Southern Witchcrafts is a tr it's a great vegan uh, soap. There's some great Italian ones like Vito's, uh, Saponificio Veracino. Um, the uh, uh, just so many great great soaps out of that are they're so enjoyable to use. Uh, another vegan one is uh, Soap Commander uh, and Dr. John's. Uh, terrific. All right. Well, mm, we are. Enjoying the smell. I'm, I'm going to uh, allow a little bit of a little bit of hair on my trouble spot there because I'm in a hurry. Not bad, not bad. Maybe I can have about 40 minutes to create the post and get it in just under under the wire. Most of mine have actually been just under the wire. Uh, okay, Seth. Hey, everybody. We've got about eight people. If you have a favorite soap maker, why don't you post it? Lothar Grooming, I haven't tried that one. Ariane Evans is a good performer. I, I don't like to, um, yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people um, like Martin DeCondre, but I don't, I don't enjoy, I don't think it's a, a luxury lather, maybe unless you run it really dry but I like to push mine really hydrated and it just didn't compete with anything current. Um, and I, I used it for all of August last year. And so I know what I'm talking about. Um, it, what it is, is to me at least, it represents a good economy soap because I think it was going to last uh, by the time, even if you paid American prices to get it to you, maybe costing 60 or $70 because the shipping from France, uh, it was going to cost you, just three dollars a month to use that soap and it would have been three years or something like that to uh, to run through the entire thing because it's so concentrated um, and so to me it's just an economic soap um, it doesn't really perform all that great but it's slick and you can use it and maybe the guys who really like it uh, like to run it drier and so it has a little bit more of a creamy nature to it but i really might like more of the high performance lathers that can, uh, soap bases that can really take uh, a lot of water and be really slick too. That's my, uh, my personal uh, preference there. Yeah, you should really, um, Seth, you should do some uh, orders from some samples from Sterling. Each one will last you about a month. Um, PAA is a good performer. Um, but he, I don't like his ethics. Uh, and so I generally avoid, uh, him. Um, but it is a good performing, uh, soap base. Yeah. Yeah. I mentioned Saponificio Veracino. Yes, sir. That's, those are really good. Um, anybody recently that, uh, jumping out here, I've got a, ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Peter, which, uh, which one are you using? I think you and I talked about Apuntia or something the other day. And I 
got my list of, uh, I have a website where I track all my shaves. I've, I've been really contemplating making it available to, uh, uh, to other shavers, but it's going to take a good bit of programming, I'm afraid. And so uh, I think it'll be a while for me to do that. Um, let's see. Yeah, Barrister and Man. Um, Black Ship Grooming is in that old, um, that kind of old style that's not, it's not like super creamy and stuff, but they got some neat scents. Um, da, da, da. Katie's Bubbles is a very nice performing vegan soap maker. CBL, I like them a lot. I've tried a few soaps from them uh, and uh, tallow soaps from them, and I've enjoyed the performance quite a bit. Chiseled Face, they have the new silk tallow base, which you have to use a lot of product, but it's a good base. Um, the original base that they have, the tallow version, um, that is still their mainstay is a, uh, it's not quite as nice as maybe Sterling in my opinion, uh, but it's still very nice. And their scents are amazing. That's why I buy chiseled face is for the amazing manly scents. Roger that Seth. Yeah, I might, uh, I don't know anything about Lothar. I think you mentioned, I think I remember you mentioning that in a comment. Um, yeah, see, Major Mincemeat, I've heard something about Apex Alchemy, um, but I haven't had a chance to try them out yet. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, Declaration Grooming with the Bison, Icarus, Milk Steak, those are great. I've mentioned Dr. John's. Um, the Eleven is a pretty good performer. I think they used to be, uh, um, they used to be Cold River Soapworks, maybe. Uh, fine is good. Grooming department is good. Um, uh, Henri and Victoria has a vegan base as well as the, uh, the tallow that I mentioned. An inexpensive one is Haslinger. Um, they are, they have pretty good performance. Hub City is one I've played around with and I'm very impressed with that performance as well. He's in Texas. Uh, very good performance there. Um, I actually have uh, another soap of his in that I have to probably wait until the Lather Games is over to to show you guys. And then I got two samples from his website. I got that Ideal Man sent from him. Uh, um, the Maggard brand, Maggard Razors brand, is Through the Fire Finecraft. It's a long, weird name. You can buy stuff through Through the Fire Finecraft as well, and that's a good base. Um, Moon Soaps performs really well. Um, one of you guys sent me a couple of samples of Moon, and I was really happy with the performance. Uh, Mystic Water, as long as you don't add water too, uh, too fast in the beginning, you build it up slowly. Wonderful performer, very underrated. Uh, Lisa's Natural Herbal Creations is a wonderful soap base. I've already mentioned Noble Otter. Oleo, very, very good soap base. Um, da, da. I collected a whole bunch of Razor Rock because they, they came on sale, but then uh, I just never use it because it's just not up to any of these that I've been mentioning. But I heard Razor Rock had a, uh, their, their um, trip, What the Puck series is actually a better performer. Um, so Commander, uh, Summer Break, yeah. Sterling, man, I got so many Sterling soaps, it's crazy. Saponificio Veracino, Southern Witchcrafts. Talbot is hard to get, but it's a good performer. And uh, doo -doo -doo. Wickham is pretty good. It's a vegan one from the UK. Uh, Wickham 1912. And uh, got some neat scents there. Some different stuff. We've already mentioned Holy Cow. WSP, pretty good performer. Um, but their cost isn't good as, as good as Sterling. And so uh, if I was going to buy their Matterhorn, which is the same as Sterling's Mountain Man, I would rather buy the Mountain Man soap. But if you find another scent that you might like to try in WSP that Sterling doesn't have, then get the WSP. It's a, it's a good performer. Um, and then we mentioned Zingari Man. So among my soap collection, those are some of my favorite soaps, and they're all just terrific. Any one of them that I mentioned, I could shave with all the time. Yeah, First Canadian. 
Um, I used that recently. I can't remember how I felt about it. I think probably pretty good. Um, and, uh, right. Cause wasn't that the Del Mar Boulevard was that first? No, that was first line. First line. No, I have, it's been too long since I've shaved with first Canadian. And so I don't remember how I felt about them, but Seth likes them a good bit. Very cool. Big Ben Violet. I have not tried the, oh, wait. Um, I have tried some Big Ben blades years ago, but it was early in my shaving. And so I don't remember anything. Yes, Seth, Hub City. Yes, sir. Mentioned that one. Uh, yeah, Zachary, uh, you do have to use more with Van Ule. Um, I believe that most of the ones that I've mentioned, I would consider probably better than Van Ule. A few of them probably just as good. But uh, but yeah, Van Ule has got some creative sense uh, and she's a good good lady. Um, that's a good um, that's good stuff. Yeah, PDP. Um, Oh, the 63 cent is amazing. Uh, but for me, the PDP uh, lather is almost like the MDC. Uh, it needs to be able to take more water and it doesn't really stay as creamy like Sterling might with that same amount. Um, but yeah, the scent of 63 is just, that's the reason I've got, I've got a tub of it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up because I've got uh, maybe I'll be able to have half an hour to put my post together. All right. Um, so we've got the uh, I am smelling good. You know what I'm about to order? I'm actually about to order um, the EMP uh, cologne from Sterling. They took executive man and they do have that as a cologne, but they uh, had so many requests to amp up the uh pineapple maybe um, and maybe the the woodsy fruity notes in there and then they called that emp and so those sound like alterations that i might really enjoy and so i think i'm going to buy that as an edp <laughs> very kind of you i often avoid those kind of youtube things you know hit like and subscribe and all that if you like it like it if you don't don't you know um and, and so I'm surprised that the channel has grown as, as nicely as it has. I'm grateful for you guys. You guys are tremendous. Um, okay. So, yeah. So let's do uh, very comfortable right now. The splash didn't reveal too much in terms of uh, tenderness or anything like that. So we had a fast butt, a pretty good shave. So let's do this uh, emperor thing here. That's a really good scent. I've used that before. You know what I might actually do is move away from the balms and the splashes and uh, and switch to uh, having the colognes uh, and then just use my, a, a balm that's unscented uh, because the colognes are going to last forever. The balms don't. Um, and I don't know. We'll have to see. That's something I'm, I'm rolling around. Some people do it even further than that. Use an unscented soap, but I need a scent during my shave. And so I want a scented soap, but maybe the direct product after the shave, the splash or the balm, maybe I might I'm toying around with going unscented with that, using up all the ones I have and then just going unscented and use the cologne to, uh, to provide myself with scent. Because after all, that is supposed to last longer than a, uh, a, a, an aftershave splash. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, bye for now. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, this is my shortest one ever, right? Uh, I'm just going to clean up. Um, I will leave the thread running um, while I clean up. But if you guys, you want to take off, if anybody else wants to stay and ask a question, feel free. <laughs> enjoyed the horse brush today. Um, it's, uh, it just didn't really give me any scritch and it had nice, easy flex. I really think I'm kind of going to like this guy. I'm 
I'm glad I got the black handle. I just think that's all cool. Okay, not really going to bother recording the water for today because we are just in a hurry. I will put a dot on my paper for the Nasset blade, though. Disassembled a razor. So the timeless worked out really well. Very happy with that. After the um, Lather Games is done, I'm not going to repeat this razor again. I will uh, definitely revisit revisit it. Put my blade over there to dry. Use the 3D lather all day as usual. Later, Mike. Good to talk to you, man. Yeah, Peter. I really have to. Uh, that's if I had unscented soap, I don't even know if I would wet shave. Um, because it's the scent is, is a huge part of it for me. Okay, let's put a dot on the, the thing. Indian head shave videos, video shave your mustache. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I need this mustache. I need this goatee. Um, a few years ago, I actually did shave it all off, um, but no. Some people say they have a face made for radio to mean they're not all that attractive looking. I have a, uh, I have a bottom area that is uh, made for goatees. <laughs> I just look a lot better with a goatee. I've had one for decades. All right, very good. Nasset. it. Peter, what did you say, uh, if you're still watching, what did you say was your uh, um, your SV soap for today? Peter is over in South China, and he is. it's in the morning for him, and so he's shaving, or probably finishing his shave by now. So I have my, uh, if anybody's curious, I have my marker for marking blade uses. If I have a sample, I have a quarter teaspoon uh, measure. I have my brush soak cup, which is a yogurt container, the OUI type of yogurt, um, brand of yogurt. And then I have my jigger for measuring water all in my lather bowl. You know, that makes me think, what if I designed, uh, I'm interested in designing my own lather bowl, which is very similar to that one. Uh, what if I designed it so that there was like a like a hole on the side for your razor to go in so that you could kind of carry all your gear like to and from the bathroom? That could work. Man, I just really did enjoy the horse brush today. Zenith. It's the extra soft. All right. I think we're good. Thank you so thank you guys uh, so much and uh, look forward to uh, tomorrow's shave. We'll see what, I can't remember what the theme is, um, but uh, look forward to seeing you then. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves, and I sure hope there's been something in this video to help you out. I know it's been rushed, but uh, that is the nature of the lather games. I got to get my submission in. I've got half an hour to do it. Take care, guys, and good night.